everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Glineski here on this Thursday morning. We've had a few sh showers and thunderstorms out there this morning. This right here is actually more in this area here this morning. So everything has shifted east about 50 miles according to Futurecast compared to where it's actually at as of the time of this recording. We're going to see these off and on chances of rain and thunderstorms during the day today. I'd say mo most of you will see more dry weather than wet weather today. In fact, even a little sun comes out. The more sun that can come out, the more instability we see. Thunderstorms get to firing up late this afternoon along a frontal boundary, and we could see some severe weather with that into the evening hours. Pockets of heavier rainfall. Later in the night, the threat of severe weather goes down, but we'll still have a few showers and thunderstorms. That chance will start to come down as we head into tomorrow morning and through the day tomorrow. The chances get lower and lower. That said, we're not done yet. But notice a shift more towards eastern areas as the day goes on tomorrow. Eastern areas will have the best chance of rain. Less of a chance farther west, but not 0% chance. You still see a little activity here and there as we head through the day tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, that chance again is still there, but gets lower and lower. And by the time we get towards about midnight or so, that chance will come down to very, uh, very, very limited chance heading into Saturday morning before we see more activity heading into Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Uh, Hastings Half's going on this weekend, the running uh, running marathon, and uh, I think it should be dry for Saturday morning. Well, looking at the severe weather threat, everybody within the sound of my voice, at least that normally watches here, and I know there are a few people that watch from out west, but most people that watch in the local four viewing area are under a marginal risk of severe storms for later on today. I said I, said I do not expect widespread significant severe weather. This is going to be mostly isolated, hit or miss chances of severe weather. If we do see anything, large hail, severe wind gusts, perhaps an isolated tornado. Tomorrow, the threat is mainly off to the southwest, as I'll show you in just a bit. So again, a little large hail, a little bit of damaging wind threat, and a low wind tornado threat. It's not a big threat of severe weather for today, but there is a chance out there. Tomorrow, the chance is mainly shifting to the southwest. Saturday afternoon and evening will be a little more interesting here. Not expecting the widespread major severe weather outbreak or anything like that, but th storms are gonna fire up here to the west in the afternoon and then push east into the evening hours. Severe weather is there, large hail, severe wind gusts, perhaps isolated tornadoes, best chances in the yellow shaded slight risk area. Cooler today, upper 60s and low to mid 70s for highs, a little warmer in far eastern Nebraska and then southwest Nebraska where temperatures top out in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Any sun will help, but most places will be cooler than it has been the last couple of days. Lows tonight, 50s and lower 60s with some cooler 40s out west. And then for tomorrow again, temperatures a little bit below average, upper 60s, low to mid 70s with the extra clouds still around. Tomorrow night, most of us in the 50s for lows, some 40s to the west and northwest. And then looking ahead to Saturday, this is kind of the beginning of our next warm up, mid to upper 70s, low to mid 80s, and it gets a little bit warmer beyond that. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast for the Tri Cities again. Uh, the off and on rain chances will continue again Thursday and Friday. It's not going to rain all the time. More of the time will be dry than wet. Chances off and on is a nighttime thunderstorm, Saturday night and again Sunday night, Monday night, and then Tuesday night a cold front's going to come through, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. Another chance of rain and thunderstorms and then a little bit cooler on Wednesday. And it looks like even beyond that will be a little bit cooler, still near average for early June, but cooler on the uh, during the second half of next week. North Platte, uh, not a lot of major differences. The chances of rain may be a little lower these next couple of days, but they're still there. And then again, mostly afternoon and evening chances of rain and thunderstorms Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And again, you can see the warm air at the end, beginning of next week cooling down a little bit for the second half of next week. Not cool, but cooler. You see highs in the low and mid, lower 80s as we look towards Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. So, uh, I, like I said, we'll have chances of rain and thunderstorms in the forecast. We're not dry by any means, but certainly we've kind of veered away from the major severe weather threats. So, you know, we're kind of in peak, peak severe weather season right now, but we've kind of veered away from significant severe weather, but still some isolated severe weather will be possible in the days ahead. I want to thank you all for watching on this uh, Thursday morning. I'll see you all again on Friday with all the latest. Until then, take care. God bless. Bye.